What's up? <laughs> Jake and I. <laughs> Hello, Sugarettes. What's up, Jake and I? This is your boy, Big Jake, coming to you the power of YouTube. And today is Wrestling Wednesday. Um, before I get into my countdown, number four, my top favorite wrestler of all time, I just want to let you know that I uh, should be getting a new camera. Before the 4th of July, and 4th of July comes, we're going to have a fantastic vlog for you. You won't be able to see a pixel. No pixels. So, huh. anyway, today is my continuation of my top 10 favorite wrestlers of all time countdown. And this week is number... Okay, and this, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm... Yeah, my ADHD and uh, sugar rush here. All right, let's get into it, guys. Before I well, before I get into it, don't forget to smash that like button, to RKO that subscribe button, and to freaking last ride that share button. All right. So today, number four on my countdown, he is on the current roster. The first one on the current roster that I've put in my top ten, and that is the show off Dolph Ziggler. Now, he hasn't re-signed with WWE as of press date. His contract's coming uh, gonna expire soon. He may leave, he may not, but I need him to stay in WWE. I'm a Dolph Ziggler mark. I love him. He um He's he was he was even struggling to get on the main roster to to show the world what he could do. They had him first of all, as first off being uh, Chavo Guerrero's caddy when he was Kerwin White. He was playing a white dude. Chavo blonded his hair out and he was like coming out to some old Frank Sinatra tune. Do, 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 do. And it, he was his caddy. Um, I think he went by Nick or something like that, which his real name is Nick Namath. Anyway, uh, and then he was Nicky as a male chiller on the Spirit Squad. And then he came out as Dolph Ziggler. He blonded his hair way out, you know, trying to shake everybody's hand. Uh, I'm Dolph Ziggler. You know, stuff like that. And then they gave him enough time to, to show the world what he's made out of. And people, you know, even though he was a heel at the time people still started charity because he could show out he could wrestle he can bump he is a superstar now I think people started cheering for him when uh it was at the Royal Rumble and CM Punk was the champion I can't believe I ever cheered for that guy but anyway CM Punk was the champion and he had a title match with, with Dolph Ziggler and though Dolph Ziggler lost People started cheering for him. He laid it out all on the line. It was a hell of a match. Near falls, false finishes, just putting everything out there. And as a WWE superstar, that's what you need to do. And Vince McMahon said in that podcast with Stone Cold Steve Austin that you need to grab the brass ring and stuff. What the hell has Dolph Ziggler been doing? He's been busting his ass, and he hasn't been rewarded for it. So if he does leave, I understand. Okay, I understand why he would leave. He's been busting his ass, working his ass off. You put the title on him, two weeks later he gets a concussion and then you take it off of him. Okay, now, I don't think that's right because people, other champions have been injured and for, you know, like Shawn Michaels gave up his title because he was going to be out for months. And and then he breaks his back, and then he has to drop the title because he's going to be out for years. Okay, it doesn't take that take that long to recover from a freaking concussion, a mild concussion at that. Okay, and then first of all, you 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 give it to Alberto Del Rio, which that, that, I don't think that is bullshit. Anyway, you give it to the man that caused the concussion. Honestly, okay, that's like rewarding. That's like rewarding a football player for breaking a quarterback's neck off during a late hit, okay, and, and we all know New Orleans Saints, New Orleans Saints got 
had to pay for that. But anyway, I digress. Um, for his pure talent, his his never say die attitude, Dolph Ziggler comes in number four in my all time favorites. Now, do you agree with that? Do you like that? Huh? Do you? Post post your comments in the comment section down below. Next week or next couple of days, I'll have a new camera, um, and we'll be going hamburger on that. But um, more things come. I'm still gonna do sit down videos and, and and list videos after my top ten favorites. I want to put my top ten favorite tag teams, then um, my uh, my top ten champions, you know things like that. But um, don't forget to hit like. Subscribe, favorite, push your fuck freaking button in the face. Okay, let's do this, guys. Join the Jake and I army, and I promise this will be one hell of a ride. All right. So I'm Big Jake coming at you live to the power of YouTube, and peace.